Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So let's jump in and have a look at this awesome Orc Bad Moon commission. A really lovely set of miniatures uh, that we've had the pleasure of working on for our client. These have all been completed by Michael One, the artist here at Siege. Uh, two sets of five boys, uh, with each with a knob as well, which is really, really cool with a power claw. Um, great, great super super vibrant colorway right from the get-go for these bad moons uh, i know that michael really loved working on the sort of green and yellow sort of clash of colors which just uh, works extremely lovely on these miniatures uh, it's all painted to a very very clean finish uh, we'll just jump straight in and have a look at these awesome models uh, as you can see mike's done an absolutely incredible job on all the flesh uh, all showing all that sinew and muscular sort of structure on those arms and areas of uh, flesh work on the miniatures uh, all the little red eyes painted all the teeth done in a really nice black as well which i just think works extremely well um you obviously see orcs with sort of uh sort of bone colored teeth i think the black teeth just works really nicely um, and you see all the cases on the guns all fully painted and highlighted just to a really super super sharp finish all the weapons and blades have got a nice amount of rust effects on them you can just see the subtle orange tones in the deep recesses with brown areas of staining on the metal work uh, all the leather work all done with chips and scratches as well it just really works with these models uh, and you can see the sort of slight battle damage on these sort of yellow areas as well on these awesome awesome models Models. Really cool sort of um, sort of deserty kind of basing style on these as well, which I think just works quite nicely. So that's the first guy. There's ten of them. We'll work through and just show you guys again. Just firing away here. Really, really cool models that have obviously been around for quite a substantial amount of time, but do really, really benefit from a super, super clean paint job, as you can see on these awesome, awesome orcs. Do love the muscular structure just done on these uh, on these orcs as well. They've really been working out. Uh, so that's just uh, one of the orcs. We'll look, pull forward another boy so you can have a look at him just firing in the, the other direction. Nice to see a fellow lefty as well. Uh, so there's just this guy as well. It's just really, really cool. So that's just him. Uh, and then we'll pull forward the uh, the, the other uh, chap in the unit. Let's pull forward the uh, knob from the unit first of all. Again, a really, really cool model. You can see just raising that power claw aloft. You can see the lens on top of the pistol all painted with point of light source and everything all done on him on that. His little lens on his face all painted. Uh, you can see the tabard there, just a nice amount of texture painted on there. And then if we move around, you can see the really, really clean job on all the black sort of leather areas and uh, cloth areas. Plus the subtle weathering just on the sort of icons and things just works extremely well. Also, the rear lens done on the uh, on the scope on the pistol as well. Nice subtle orangey rusty tones just on the pistol. If you can just see if I move it in light, you can see that really, really dark grimy metal uh, so that's just the uh, the pistol then we'll have a look at the guy with the big shooter uh, just another guy with a really huge belt feed just firing away plenty of ammo because he's carrying all the daca you can see lovely subtle sort of scratching and pitting on the uh, on the leather backpack there um, which i just think works really nicely just the same metal work the same rusty orange finish on that metal work just works extremely well uh, so that's just the orc with the big shooter uh, then we'll have a look at the next five guys. Uh, so again, really, really cool uh, orchid just waving his uh, chainsaw aloft, which I just think is quite funny. You see all the barrels and everything all drilled on these guys. Uh, all the skin there highlighted through various stages, as you can see. Uh, and you can see that real, if I just get this to focus, you can see all the sinew and everything that Michael has painted onto the uh, independent parts of the muscular structure on the model. Uh, just really, really works. Uh, just really, really cool. So that's just uh, one of the old boys. And then we'll pull forward probably my favorite out of the two orc knobs you got this guy here with a huge power claw as you can see uh, nice subtle sort of weathering and stuff just on the claw again all the metals uh, having lovely amounts of sort of staining and stuff on them and then unfortunately he's had a bit of an accident he's lost his hand and forearm uh, so he's just decided to uh, attach a, a bit of a blade to it with a uh, bloody rag around the stump uh, but Mike's done a really nice job of just painting that on just looks really really cool adding that nice bit of narrative to the miniature uh, you've got the icon there with all the sort of uh, rust and chipping just really really subtle and refined on the on the areas of armor which just works quite nicely also uh, so that's just uh, the other knob and then we'll pull forward the, uh, the another one of the regular boys just with a bit of a head tassel here and you can see those really cool black teeth that these guys have got uh, just really differentiates them and makes them look a little bit different from the regular sort of orcs that you would see again you've got that really cool sort of muscular structure on the skin work all painted uh, do really like the uh, the basing on these miniatures as well that sort of uh, sort of deserty tundra which just works extremely well with the uh, colors on the palette for the miniatures uh, and then we've got the other two boys just pull these forward so you can have a look at all 10 of the models in all their 
orky glory again being bad moons they are the ones that like to splash the cash so they probably are uh, the uh, sort of uh, cleanly and tidiest mocks that you'll see a little bit of weathering on their armor they probably get paid for a paint job every now and again with some uh, extra teeth that they have laying around and uh, as you can see the rust effects just on those axes and things all done there so that's just uh, the penultimate orc and then the final one really classic wielding a great big axe aloft uh, just ready to, uh, to smack someone and give them a very bad day uh, you've got this awesome orc here again same consistency across this miniature from all the orcs together again a really really lovely presented set of clean orcs for you guys to check out they're off to go and pillage and plunder and collect some teeth uh, so I do hope you like them ever so much and I'll see you on the next one So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.